Welcome to this quick demonstration of uh, the new formula feature in FormMaker. So we'll start off by going into design mode and this is uh, the invoice um, form that comes with the app. Uh, it's just a little demonstration app to show you what you can do with formulas. And you can see here that we have uh, a list of items and this is in uh, a picker field so we have our list here and next to it we have a list of prices that go along uh, with those items and to link the two together so that when you pick one of these items it changes to uh, the relevant price here we need to set the source field with a tag and the tag can be anything we want so we can put whatever we like in here I've chosen tag item 1 but it could be ABC it could be anything so that's the tag on the source field and the target field which is the price the thing that's going to change we say equals index and then the tag we used on the source field so in this case is equaling index tag item 1 and you can see that formulas start with uh, an equal sign it's then followed by the formula name in this case index an open bracket followed by a tag followed by a closed bracket and that's the same for all formulas. So when we run this, we can see that when we pick the item uh, or change the item, the price changes to the same index position as the source item here. And that's, uh, that's quite handy when we want to um, have two lists that are linked to each other. Now you can also see that down here we have a a uh, tax amount and a before tax figure and the be before tax is the sum of uh, the two items that we've got in this um, trial invoice so at the moment it's just 25 if I change this to scissors and we say we want uh, three of them we can see that this changes to 15 and the reason why that changes to 15 is again because there's a formula against this item here and that formula says equals multiply tag price quantity 2 close bracket so you can see that it's the same format as the index uh, formula and any other formula for that matter there's two additional things which which I'll tell you about in a moment but that's the that's the main part of the formula the equal sign the formula name and the tag to uh, base this formula upon so if we look at what is included in again we we'll just go back to the formula tag price quantity 2 we would expect it to be the quantity and the price multiplied together and if we look at these two fields so we look at the price yes tag price quantity 2 is the tag and we look at the quantity again the tag is tag price quantity 2 so the formula here which is multiply tag price quantity 2 means it's going to multiply together any field which has got that tag which currently is this field here and this field here the price and the quantity and the same for this top line here it's a slightly different um, formula it's the same format but it's, t it's multiplying together all tag price quantity ones which is everything on this top line so the tag here tag price quantity one tag here tag price quantity 1 so those two are multiplied together but you could have three or four five six as many as you want fields multiplied together as long as they have that tag price quantity 1 they'll get included together in the multiply that's linked to this particular field so that's the formula but you can see there's two extra things on the end here and again on this one you can see that there's two extra things here now the first one in square brackets is simply the number of decimal places to calculate to. Now for a currency amount, that's normally two. Most currencies calculate to two decimal places. But it doesn't have to be. You could set that to zero and it would be just creating an integer, so no decimal places. It could be five, in which case it would calculate to five decimal places. So inside of the square brackets is the, um, is the number of decimals inside the curly brackets is the precedence for this particular formula and what that means is you can see that 
uh, in this case when we change the item the price changes and we change this item that changes so that has got to be done first before it multiplies together the price and the quantity so the first thing that happens is that this formula has got to happen which is the index tag item 1 formula and then the multiply can happen and that just means that two there means that it just happens it's the second it's got the second highest priority of the formulas so because this one didn't have a precedence it means that it's the top level priority so it's just a number so it's in this case it's priority zero um, and this one is priority two so this one will happen after the preceding one happens now you can see that we've got a before tax field here and that is equal sum tag amount and followed by a two followed by a three so what that's doing is it's adding together this field and this field so this one which we calculated with the equals multiply formula has got a tag on it which is tag amount and this one here has got a tag of tag amount so this one the before tax is adding all of the fields with tag amount together equals sum of tag amount same format as before but the form the formula name this time is sum which means just means add together and the tag is tag amount and you can see again it's to two decimal places and this time the precedence is three and the reason why it's three this time is because we want this formula to work on this field first well this one first then this one and that one and then this one so these will happen first because they haven't got a precedence which means they're the top priority these have got precedence two and this one's got precedence three so it'll do those first then it'll do these and then it'll do this one so if you just want to see that in action we change the five we change the item to scissors it changes the price to five there's only one selected so the total amount is five we change this one to paper and we say we want two of those which means that that is 25 times 2 which is 50 and this before tax is now 50 plus 5 which is 55 which is all good so the last thing in there is the tax rate and as you can see we've got uh, a, a selector field here a segmented control here with low standard and high as the tax bands and in here we have percentages 5 10 and 20 and those are linked together by the tax rate having a tag of tag tax could be anything but I've called it tag tax and this one unsurprisingly is equals index of tag tax so it's going to set the index of this field to the same as the source field which is tag tax so the same as this one here so when I run that if I change this low to low it changes to 5 which is the first one standard changes to the medium one high changes to the high one and we can see how that works is if we change this to scissors and this to paper again change that to 2 so we now have 55 and if we leave this at the higher tax rate which is 20% the tax amount is 11 but we can change it to a standard tax rate of 10% and it will be 5.5 and the last thing you can see there is an after tax field which as you can see on here is the formula is equals sum tag n total two decimal places precedence five so that's going to um, uh, sum together anything with tag end total and we'd expect it to be being the after tax this field plus this field so if we look at the tags for those we can see that they are tag end total is in there and this one tag end total is in there so this one will be the sum of this one and this one and the only thing that uh, is slightly different about this one is it has multiple tags so it can actually supply the formulas from more than one field
So we can supply the formula for the tag n total, which is the after tax amount down here, but also the tag tax multiply, which is the tax amount, which is multiply tag tax multiply here. So any one field can be the source field for more than one formula. So if we see all that working together, again, scissors, paper, change that to two, we can see that we have, let's change it to a low tax rate. So these are indexed together, so these change, the prices change as the items change. The amount for this line is, the, is this field times this field, the multiply formula is used to multiply those two together. This one is multiply this one and this one. And those two get added together into the before tax field. The tax amount is calculated by applying the tax rate here to the before tax amount here. And then the after tax is the sum of this field and this field. So that's formulas using FormMaker. Um, and as I said before, all formulas have the same basic format, which is equals formula name and then in brackets the tag of the source field for this formula and any field can have a tag. So there we are, that's formulas using FormMaker.